Hello everyone, this is Sankar, presenting a video tutorial on Unix Basics. Unix is a powerful operating system developed in AT&T laboratories. It is very popular among scientific and academic communities due to its multi-user and multitasking environment. Our first command is list command. List command lists the name of all the files in the home directory in alphabetical order. List with option as L. Gives the long listing in your directory. In addition to file names, long listing shows file owner, size of file, date and time of last change to the file. List with option as A. Causes all your file to be listed including those files that begin with period. They are hidden files. Our next command is make direct mkdir. It creates a subdirectory within current directory. Now, to create a subdirectory named project in your current directory, type mkdir project, press enter. Now, to see the directory that you have just created, type ls. We can see a directory name project within our current directory. mkdir with option as p creates a hierarchy of subdirectories within current directory. For example, to create a directory name a within our current directory, having b as subdirectory and C as subdirectory of B, we will type mkdir with option P and A slash B slash C. Now we will list. We can see a directory name A within our current directory. If we change directory to A as with command cd space A, we can see that there is a directory name B within A. Now we will again change directory to B. With list command, we can again see that there is a directory named C within B. Our next command is change directory. The command cd means change current working directory to specify directory. Now this command will change to directory name unix stuff. Type list to see the contents of unix stuff. With cd tilde we can change to home directory. When we initially log in unix system places us to home directory. To see the path of home directory we can type pw. In unix dot means current directory cd space dot means stay where you are. This may not seem very useful at first but using dot as the name of current directory will save a lot of typing. We can confirm with pwd that we are at the same directory. cd space dot dot will take you one directory up the hierarchy. Typing cd with no arguments return you to your home directory. 